Mesa TV presents in three, two, one. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. All this week on Dateline Schools, we're continuing our summer long series looking at the organizations and agencies that support the children here in the Blue Water area. This week, our stop takes us to the Port Huron Blue Water YMCA as we're visiting with Executive Director Denise Brooks. And Denise, what is the vision and the mission for the Blue Water YMCA? Well, obviously our mission is to put Christian principles into practice in a way that helps build a healthy mind, body, and spirit for all. Um, our overall promise, what we promise to give back to the community is our goal is to strengthen the community. So through youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility, our activities are all designed to strengthen the community. And that mission really hasn't changed over the decades the Y has been in operation, has it? It's the same mission. In spite of a few years ago, changing the logo and things like that, we are still the YMCA. Now, we're actually, we're standing in the, overlooking the gymnasium here at the, the new Blue Water YMCA. How long have you been in this facility, and how long has the Y been in existence here in our community? Well, in next year, 2014, we'll be celebrating our 125th anniversary. So the Y has been a big part of this community for a long, long time. Its purpose and, and function have changed a little bit over the years, but it's still been a big part of the community. We've been here for five years. Wow, it's hard to believe that's been that long already. I know, believe me. <laughs> you may only look at the Y in terms of how it services kids, but you really have an impact on the greater community as a whole, too, don't you? We do. I mean, obviously, if you start with kids, just like with the schools, if you start with the kids, you're building your future. But we have that opportunity to work with adults from all and families from throughout the community and really help them become successful. And sometimes that might be helping them achieve their fitness goals. Sometimes that might be helping them get engaged in the community and make connections, newcomers that are moving to the community. Um, but there's a lot of different ways that we provide that support. I was going to say, too, you kind of equate why with that physical fitness type of thing, but it's a lot more than that. It really, we do really focus on the mind, body, and spirit connection. We'll be back with more tomorrow. For Dayline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington.